So I'm in uh, true Nicaraguan fashion here. I bought this hat in Nicaragua. Anyways, uh, this first video that I'm going to show you, um, it was the first day on uh, our trip to Nicaragua. We took uh, what's called a chicken bus, which is a bus packed with locals who don't speak English. And uh, fortunately, we don't speak a lot of Spanish. Um, we jumped on that, uh, Jordan and uh, Daniel. I, I was thinking, hey, we were going to get there, get a hotel and kind of get situated. But knowing true Luke 10 fashion, um, we we let God provide um, the people and the places and open the doors. So we jumped on this chicken bus and uh, you'll see on the video. And that chicken bus took us into a town that we had prayed about um, prior. We had kind of prayed, Lord, what, where should we go? And uh, and Tippy Tapa was where we felt the Lord leading us. So we went we went to Tippy Tapa. It turned out to be a real uh, shanty town. Lots of um, lots of uh, Spanish people, no gringos like us, uh, and a lot of stares, a lot of looks, and a lot of. It was pretty scary for me the first time. It was a real culture shock. I've never been out of Canada, so. So for me, it was uh, it was quite a stretch, and um, I really had to, you know, go to the go to the Lord, and um, just ask Him for His peace and provision. Uh, but at the end of the day, we had done quite a bit of walking around, trying to communicate with people, very having a very difficult time, um, and uh, just for me, feeling very very oppressed, very shut down. My phone uh, wasn't uh, in service. I didn't have a Nicaraguan SIM card, so I, I couldn't look up maps. I couldn't look up anywhere to go. Thankfully, I, I ran into a, a, a sort of uh, semi-speaking English guy, and uh, he helped me negotiate a, a SIM card, and I put that in my phone, and my phone kind of came back to life, and that was good. I was able to um, look on my maps and try to uh, figure out, you know, if where we were and uh, where we were going to stay. People kept advising us uh, during the day that no gringos should be on the streets at night. They it's very dangerous for us. Very, we'll get robbed. We'll get mugged. And so uh, that was in the back of my mind. Um, but uh, close to the end of the day, around four o'clock, I think it was, um, we saw this sign and it said Joshua 1 9, and, uh, which means, uh, you know, be strong and courageous for I, the Lord, I'm with you wherever you go. And uh, it's a verse that God had given me a long time ago, so it was pretty fitting. And when we went there, it was a mechanic shop, and that's where we prayed for this guy. Now, I started filming right after his shoulder was healed, but he couldn't lift his shoulder beyond like this high. And then, um, uh, Daniel or Jordan, I can't remember, one of us prayed for him and uh, instantly he was healed. The pain was gone and he was healed. So I start filming right as he's like, wow, yeah, it's good, you know? And so that opened the door to pray for a few other people. Then uh, he offered to get us a taxi. It was getting late in the day, so he offered to get us a taxi to our hotel or wherever we wanted in the city. Um, and he just, he just like paid for it. And so, um, they were very touched by it. It was really cool. And uh, that was our first day. So here's just a little clip for you to enjoy. God bless you from Nicaragua.
good? Good? Good. Is there anybody else? Sounds like, uh, Her how she feels? Basically just drive wherever. 